Boom, what's up Waves Capital? It's Royce Jacob, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the one stock that I believe is the best kept secret in the AI sector of the stock market, and that is Veritone. Okay, so if you guys have been tuned into the videos lately, then I'm sure you can recall me mentioning this stock before. And if you're a part of the portfolio newsletter group, I'm sure you've already made some money off of it. But whether you've heard of it or not, I'm excited to talk to you guys about it today and to talk to you guys about where I think Wave 2 will be taking us as soon as the second phase of this AI hype cycle plays out, which I do think is soon. Okay, so first things first, we need to learn about what Veritone does as a company. To do so, we will be taking a look at their website, hearing about how they describe themselves in their own words, impossible is outdated. It's a nice tagline there. And then of course, we will be looking at their investors page as well. The next tab, we do have very, just broken down in, I mean, simplest form, um, for the reason of referencing their market cap, okay? So we will be taking a look at their revenue. Veritone has amazing revenue for the market cap of the company and, uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys what their market cap is relative to their revenue. And uh, last but not least, as I just implied, we will be talking about Wave 2 price targets. I do have some points of resistance that I am personally eyeballing and that I do plan on taking profits at as we progress through this second wave that uh, I do think could be coming very soon. So I'll let you guys know what those are. But... I do wanna to talk to you guys about where I think wave two will take us, where I think we could be peeking out, and uh, yeah, hope you guys are ready for the ride. All right, so uh, let's take a look at Veritone's website. Before we do, you guys, please let me know in the comments down below, have you heard of Veritone before? Are you part of the complete portfolio and newsletter group? Have you been trading with me? And uh, if so, cheers, because this position has done a amazingly so far i mean multiples of on our money okay so once again impossible is outdated discover the possibilities of artificial intelligence with veritone as creators of the world's first ai operating system we are augmenting the human workforce by transforming use case concepts into tangible industry leading applications and solutions now powering the world's most trusted sports data experience it okay so Typically, we just go down the homepage of the websites when I'm breaking down a new company, but the cool thing about Veritone is that they have a specific site for their investors. So let's click on that. Tab's in the top right corner if you want to go check this out for yourself. But uh, let's go over <clears throat> some of their metrics here and uh, take a look at this investor page. All right. Q4 conference call is coming up March 2nd, 2023. Lock the date in on your calendars because at the time of recording, uh, February 13th, this is only a few weeks out, so uh, I think this could act as an, ama a, a, an amazing catalyst for the upcoming wave if we don't see it by then, which, uh, you know, honestly, I think this wave is coming a lot sooner than later. But going down, get some latest news. That's class guy. As always, I recommend you guys go check out all these news articles for yourselves if you are long veritone like myself. But what I really want to focus on, once again, um, kind of the revenue metrics that I want to look at when compared to their market cap of $326 million is their previous quarterly results. This is from Q3 of 2022, okay? So as you can see here, Q3 revenue of 37.2 million increased 64% for Gap and 5% Performa year over year, okay? $37 million. Let's just quickly break down what that equates to in the four quarters of the year. And uh, this is just basing it, of course, upon if they make this much every quarter. And uh, based upon what their revenue metrics look like over the previous quarters, let's scroll down. Just I was, I was going to wait for this. But as you guys can see, the amount of revenue, or the, I'm, I'm sorry, the way their revenue is compounding is amount too, but the way their revenue is compounding year over year implies that the following quarters, the following three quarters of this year that count as 2023 revenue, um, based upon these growth metrics, the fact that it's pretty much going parabolic, um, 
pretty imp implies that they are going to make more than the estimate based upon whether they make 37 million dollars per quarter okay so 37 million times four you're looking at roughly 150 million in annual revenue and uh although they aren't profitable that's a big x factor of course they are not yet profitable they are in route to profitability each of their quarters they are losing less and less money which is good therefore they are in route to profitability and um just their revenue metrics alone on top of the fact that they are in an industry like ai which is you know at this point in time really reaching escape velocity and uh, is at the epicenter of cultural and technological innovation at this point um really kind of speaks to the fact that they're poised for big things ahead again is this a very sound investment? Is this a Microsoft? Is this a tech titan that is printing cash and, uh, you know, really growing at a steady pace? Nope. But is this a stock? Is this a company that is on a path to multiplying revenue, not just by a percentage basis, but by a multiple basis? I mean, you know, 2x, 5x, 10x over the coming years. It absolutely is, in my opinion. And uh, again, it's an absolute diamond in the rough. Actually, I wouldn't say even diamond in the rough. It's a uh, it's it's the diamond in a bunch of Swarovski crystal, crystals. I was trying to look for an analogy there. It's the diamond in a bunch of less pretty diamonds uh, because, again, this stock has a market cap of $326 million. As you guys know, if you've been part of Waves Cap for a while, you know I love small cap stocks, especially when they're experiencing hype cycles like this because the smaller the market cap is, the less capital inflow it takes to that stock to increase the individual share price. So Veritone, tiny market cap, um, letting itself to so much upside potential now that the hype is hit, now that the volume is showing up in, in plays. Uh, not just Veritone, as you can see here, we can, we can reference the volume here real quick. Just zooming out here, Veritone, seeing more volume than it has in so long. AI, of course, um, kind of our number one seed in this race, number one horse in the race. Uh, is seeing inc incredible amounts of volume as well, but that's expected because the ticker symbol is AI. It's the easiest play, easiest pick. That's what, one of the big reasons uh, we picked it in the first place and started trading it a couple of months back. But Veritone is a low-key play. They are under the radar for most, and I think as soon as the second wave hits, which maybe we just saw the early innings of, um, once the second wave rolls in, I think this will be one of the big winners. And uh, as I've been saying, in the newsletters, in the portfolio group, Veritone really is my dark horse in the race, meaning that, uh, again, it's under the radar, it's low key, but once it starts catching traction, once um, investors understand and, and continue to learn about the AI sector and, uh, you know, companies within the sector that are, are viable, <clears throat> um, I mean, just are well poised for success in the future, not just from a trading perspective, but from, you know, a, a value of company perspective, Veritone is an amazing candidate and, uh, you know, I'm pumped to see where this thing goes. And for full transparency, I am very heavily invested in Veritone. Okay, so keep in mind, I'm biased, but I'm biased for good reason, at least in my opinion, in my biased opinion. Okay, so reference in the newsletter real quick before we talk price targets, before we dive into the charts. And, uh, you know, actually we will, I, I, I feel like we breezed over this a little bit. So we will discuss this a bit more go over i mean you guys can pause that and look at that for yourself amazing growth metrics i do want to look at this as well so before we take a look at this i guess just uh hype ourselves up a little more on the fundamentals of veritone as a company um and then dive into the charts i do want to reference a veritone's piece um or my write-up on veritone from uh, one of my recent newsletters uh just to kind of preface my thoughts or summarize my thoughts i should say on veritone at this moment in time and uh yeah, you don't plug the newsletter because this is what I do every day and I'm very proud of it. So the same principles that I just explained for C3, of course, C3 AI Inc., ticker symbol AI, directly apply to Veritone as well. It's a correction, not a crash. So when I say correction, I mean the past, uh, you know, the past week or so of downside. This is a correction, not a crash, okay? The hype is here and wave two is mounting on the horizon. So just to reference, uh, I did just reference C3. So uh, I did cover this in uh, my recent video. You guys can just pause it here and read through this if you want right now, but uh, let's keep reading this, okay? If we fall a bit further in the short term, I think 7.15 would be the worst case scenario. And um, as of today, as of Monday, we're kicking off the week strong, even as plays like AI 
faltered. You can see AI was down 8% today. Veritone up 7%. Thankfully, in the portfolio, those leveled themselves out because as of now, Veritone is equally as heavily weighted in my portfolio as AI, which may seem crazy to some of you, but that's been the case. And that's actually been the case um, for about a week now, since before the correction. So um, I think wave two will carry very to at least $13. Again, I just discussed that was my initial price target. Given its small market cap and strong revenue um, relative to that market cap, which once again, you're looking at potentially $150 million in annual revenue this year, um, probably more with a market cap of, we're right there, with a market cap of $325 million. I mean, they're just at 2x forward revenue with, with, uh, with that market cap, which is insane. Okay, so in my eyes, this gem is still the best kept secret in the AI sector. And again, for full transparency, I did establish positions in Veritone at the same exact time as AI. This has been my number two in the race. Once again, this is my dark horse in the artificial intelligence hype cycle race. And um, I'm excited to see it doing well. And once again, regardless of whether you were familiar with it or not, um, I'm excited to talk to you guys about this. And, uh, you know, if I am introducing it to you for the first time, I'm glad you're on board. So uh, let's talk price targets once again. We will discuss this. But just to get the plug out of the way, you guys, if you want my daily newsletters, again, this is my second newsletter that I write every single trading day. This is the Price Targets newsletter. Go over real-time price action. And you know, once the second wave hits, things are going to happen really fast. I only make one or two videos a week these days. But the newsletter is every day. If you want this, along with a complete breakdown of my entire personal portfolio that I do update, of course, every trading day as well. Give you guys that trade alert newsletter as soon as I make the trades. That is the first link in the description box down below. You get that for 15 bucks a month, 40 bucks for every three months. You can try it free for a week. And if you don't like it, you can always just unsubscribe. Unsubscribe at any time, it's that easy. But uh, for all you guys, I trust that you'll be sticking around and uh, this puppy would have paid itself off many times over over the past month or so of trading, uh, regardless of how much you're trading. Okay, so uh, very proud of this. I appreciate it. If you guys check it out, this is my life and uh, I love what I do and I'm very grateful for all you guys. Um, so thank you if you join. Welcome to Waves Capital. Cap Welcome to Waves Capital if so. But if not, no worries at all. Okay, let's close this out by talking some price action. Okay, once again, Veritone looking amazing. Volume looking good. Wave 2 shaping up beautifully. And again, it performed amazingly today in the wake of macro downside. I guess not macro downside. The indices, the major indices, uh, the SPY, the NASDAQ were in the green. Um, but many growth stocks were in the red. And once again, the fact that AI is performing so well, even as a name like, or I'm sorry, Veritone is performing so well, even when a name like AI was down, um, is really impressive and kind of speaks to, you know, potentially some of the institutional capital and smart money that is looking to enter this stock. All right. So as you can see in front of us, target one is at $13. And uh, again, you guys, a lot of times, even when, as you saw right here, I try to make these as self-explanatory as possible. Even if you don't read this, you can look at the chart and kind of get what I'm thinking. Okay. So target one is going to be 13 bucks. There are a couple reasons for that. And this is honestly worst case scenario in my mind. I think the very over the next month or two, once the second wave comes, um, I'd be surprised if we only saw $13. Okay. So $13 is going to be the first level that I'm eyeballing. The simple reason for that is because that it was the low on the last leg down of the macro downtrend. Zooming out here, let's actually go to the daily candles. Uh, so we can reference this a little more. Boom, move that around here, get rid of that, make this a little cleaner, clean it up for you guys. But as you can see here, 13 bucks was the previous low on a series of lower highs and lower lows that Veritone has pretty much been in and every growth stock has been in uh, for the better part of the past year or two now, okay? So previous low, Previous floors will act as new ceilings. I think Veritone will at least come up to $13. And, uh, you know, this prior low really does intersect nicely with Veritone's long-term lines of resistance. So here, I do have two trend lines in place. The lower green trend line is Veritone's uh, conservative line of macro resistance or long-term resistance. The reason I call it conservative, and again, if you guys are part of the newsletter group, I say this a lot, is because... I always prefer two touch points, at least two touch points, especially when you're zooming out like this, at least two touch points or candle wicks to create that line of resistance. 
as you can see here, I'll get rid of this real quick so you guys, so you guys can see this. Um, this is technically the line of resistance. This is the absolute line of resistance. And many traders will be eyeballing this one. And if you trade trend lines, which trust me, you guys, every trader on the planet, every quant, every hedge fund on the planet does trade trend lines. It's obvious the more trend lines, you, the more charts you look at. Um, this is the absolute trend line. I do think that this will come into play. But personally, and uh, what I trade my positions off of a lot of the time, are these conservative lines of resistance right here using at least more than one touch point, especially if they're candle wicks, okay? So just getting it out of the way. Um, regardless, I do think that this one will come into play here. And uh, this one does intersect perfectly. And again, I do think this is kind of worst case scenario. Uh, perfectly with that prior uh, prior floor, which I think will come into play as a new ceiling. Long-term resistance does intersect with this floor at uh, $13 on March 15th. So personally, I do think Veritone can see at least $13 on or by mid-March. But uh, because I do think that Wave 2 will be even greater than Wave 1, uh, I do think the Veritone can see $18. The reason for that is because it's a 2X from these corrective levels. Actually, you know what? I'll be a little more conservative. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, this does work. Because for AI, personally, I do think AI can 2X from where we're at now following that 30% correction. So you know what? Let's go to the bottom where a Veritone corrected just to kind of play it a little more conservatively. A 2X or 100% uh, return from the lows that Veritone experienced on this recent correction um, just last Friday would take us up to uh, about 15.75. So I think $15 on the second wave is a very easy call. And um, you know, it could be much higher given Veritone's small market cap and the reasonable and uh, you know, I would say justified hype that artificial intelligence is experiencing now. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about Veritone. I know we didn't cover a whole lot here, but uh, again, you guys, if you just look at some of these partners that Veritone's currently working with, there's some, I mean, there's some titans of industry in here. There are some bangers in this lineup. And um, you know, again, we're still early guys. I keep saying that, but keep in mind, we're still early. The second wave should take us even higher than the first wave. And again, if you want to join Waves Capital, if you want to trade with me on a daily basis, it's the first link down below. So I'll see you guys in the comments and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Until then, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace, Waves Cap.